Hi everybody, I am going to talk to you about one of the important types of essays, which is a comparative essay. So what do we mean by a comparative essay? Comparative essay means a text which includes information about two people or two things, which include similarities and differences. You can compare, you can contrast between two things or two people. So. There are two ways that we can adopt in order to write a comparative essay. The first one is a paragraph. The second one is an article. So let's begin by the paragraph. The paragraph includes information which uh, spotlight on the different things or, or the similar things between two people or two things. We can use expression that you have on the board. So, to compare, we use expressions like likewise, also, like, just as, just like, similar to, same as, compare, similarly, both, and. And to make a contrast, we use expressions like however, nevertheless, nonetheless, still, although, even though, though, but, yet, despite, in spite of, in contrast to, while, whereas, on the other hand, on the contrary, conversely. So, why do you have in this table uh, two columns? One is called comparison, the other is called contrast. So when you compare, you can deal with things which are similar. To uh, introduce similarity, we can use expressions like just as, just like. We can use same as, similarly, both and. When we talk about differences, we use expressions of contrast, like however, nevertheless, still, though, but, yet, and so on, that you see on the table. Of course, when you make a comparison between two things or two people, you can use the expressions that you see in this table. As an example, I will read for you the paragraph which includes the comparison between two sisters. And then while I am reading, I want you to focus with me on the expressions used in order to introduce this information. This information can be either information which spotlights on the differences or the information which spotlights on uh, similarities. I want you to uh, observe with me the way in which the information is given and how the sentences are joined together. Although Halima and Maria are sisters, they look very different and they have very different characters. In appearance, Halima is quite fat and smiled a lot. Moreover, she is physically strong and very active. Maria, on the other hand, is a bit thin and serious looking. She often looks tired. In character, Halima is a very happy person, always laughing and ready to help, each, uh, to help other people. Maria is kind too, but she is much quieter than Halima. Maria doesn't seem uh, nearly as friendly as her sister. Because she is a bit timid, she is also often tense because of her job. However, the two sisters are very good friends and they see and they are always happy when they see each other. So as you see, the information in this paragraph include comparison between Halima and uh, her sister Maria, both in appearance and in character. So the expressions used are although, okay, so although to make a contrast between Halima and Maria. So both of them are the sisters. This is the common point between them. Okay, so they are sisters, but there is a difference between them in character and in appearance. So from the topic sentence, we know that we can compare between, we are going to compare between two people both in physical appearance and in character. So, Halima is quite fat. So, of course, here 
we are going to spotlight on the appearance, on the physical appearance on, of Halima. Then we move to the physical appearance of Maria. Okay, of course we are going to make a contrast between them. So the expression used is although. Although they are sisters, there is difference between them. So here we begin by stating the difference between them. Okay, so we make differences between them in appearance and in character. So when we finish from appearance, we move to character. And in the end, we talk about the thing which is common between them, which is when they see each other, they always feel happy. So as you see, the structure used in this paragraph is uh, as follows. The topic sentence gives to us the information that is going to be discussed in the supporting sentences, which is the comparison between the two sisters in appearance and in character. In the supporting sentences, we have uh, information about the appearance of both sisters and information about the character of both sisters. Here, of course, we state the differences. The last sentence, which is the concluding sentence, begins from however. However, the two sisters are very good friends, so this is the common point between them. But the, different, uh, the most important thing is that they see each other, or where they are happy when they see each other. This is the concluding sentence. So this essay, this is a paragraph, not an essay. So the paragraph is very short, but includes all information we need in order to compare between two people. Now let's move to the second uh, thing, which is an essay. How to write an essay which include comparison. So we can adopt a planning, which is in the introduction, we can talk about the similarities between two things or two people. So you state, of course, the, the common points between them in the introduction. So for example, if you want to compare between uh, the two sisters, you can say, like Halima, Maria is, of course, and you give something which makes them common. Uh, of course, you, you talk about the similarities in the introduction. In the body, the first paragraph, you talk about Halima. The second paragraph, you talk about Maria. And in the conclusion, you give a balanced conclusion, which includes the summary of the first paragraph in the body and the second paragraph in the body. Of course, you can say the differences in the, uh, in the conclusion. So this planning can be adopted in essays. Uh, it's very easy uh, to write, uh, of course, because when you want to make a comparison between two things or two people, the most important thing is talking about similarities. So you state the similarities from the very beginning. So for example, we can use expressions like both and. So you say, for example, both Halima and Maria are good sisters or good people or anything like that, which means you give the information which shows the common point between them. Or you can say just as, of course, we can use expressions like just like, okay? Maria is just like Halima in appearance, okay, of course, or in character. So you make the uh, common points in the very beginning, in the introduction. In the body, you state the difference, the difference between them. So the first paragraph you talk about Maria, the second paragraph you talk about Halima. I mean, uh, you can divide your writing into four paragraphs, introduction, the body have two paragraphs and the conclusion. So in the introduction, you can give the information which have the similarities. In the body, one paragraph about one person or one thing. The second paragraph about one person or one thing. Of course, you just give information. And in the last paragraph, which is the conclusion, you give the differences. Okay? You give the differences between them using expressions of contrast that you see on the board. Okay, so there are many ways that we can use in order to make a comparative text. You can choose the one that you find uh, easier and uh, 
not uh, difficult for you. So, for example, uh, if it is a paragraph, so you adopt the, uh, the, the contrast or the comparison in one paragraph. So, using expressions in, that you have in the board. If you are going to write an essay, so you can uh, talk about the similarities and the differences. Of course, from the very beginning, you state that you are going to talk about, uh, of course, two people or the two things from the very beginning. So I will give more information after that, uh, dealing with another type of, uh, of writing. Goodbye.